Hi, Lincoln Charter School students. Today we're going to be learning about the artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. Before we get started, let's look carefully at this picture. Do you know who the woman on the left is? If you said former First Lady Michelle Obama, you would be correct. This is when she was still First Lady and her husband Barack Obama was President of the United States. When Barack Obama was President, they lived in the White House. And this is an area of the White House that was a dining room. And you can see a painting hanging on the wall that's very bright and very colorful. And this room was so important, it was used for an interview with Michelle Obama. Let's take a closer look at the painting. This painting features concentric circles, which means there's a small circle in the middle and the circles get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as they go out, eventually filling up the whole square. I love the bright, happy colors in this painting. Now, when a president and first lady move into the White House, they get to select the artwork that hangs on the walls. And this dining room was a very important room for the Obamas. They held many different special events and meals in this room. And you can see the focal point right at the end of the table is that beautiful painting. So who made this beautiful painting? Her name is Alma Woodsy Thomas. She was an African-American artist and teacher from Washington, DC. She spent most of her entire life in Washington, DC. And I like this, this is just a little cartoon that was made of her in front of her artwork. And it says, color is life. Alma Woodsy Thomas was actually a teacher first. She spent part of her life teaching kindergarten and then taught middle school for over 30 years. She always loved painting and did it as a hobby until she retired. When she retired, she devoted the rest of her life to painting. And when she was 80 years old, she had her first art show. So here she is standing with some of her paintings. Some of her paintings have circles and some of them have lines and other shapes. And this is another picture of her when she was a little bit older, sitting in front of one of her paintings. I love how she has all the different little colors in straight lines. Finally, let's take a look at Alma's artwork. She is most famous for making paintings that look like little pieces of, almost it reminds me of paper that's torn up, but they're little areas of paint that are arranged in circles. And these are concentric circles. So they start small in the middle and get bigger as they go out. She loves to use bright colors in her artwork. This is some of Alma's artwork hanging in an art gallery. If you go to the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, DC, you'll actually get to see some of Alma Woodsy Thomas's paintings. So you can see she does create other types of art. Her circle paintings are just her most famous paintings. And once again, you can see they're all really bright colors. This is another painting that is a circle painting. Once again, you can see the little white spaces between all her brush strokes of paint. This is her signature style. This is another painting of hers that's completely made of red brush strokes. I love how on one side of the painting, the strokes are very close together. And then as you get to the other side, they are looser and more spaced out. And here's the painting that we saw a little bit earlier where she arranged her brush strokes into stripes of color. And here are some more paintings with the stripes of color. 
she even made a circle filled with vertical stripes. Thanks for learning about Alma Woodsy Thomas with me. I cannot wait to see what artwork you create inspired by her paintings.